Army Hammer surfaced this week in Los Angeles in a dressed-down ensemble including sandals and what looked like a shrunken t-shirt. The 36-year-old actor is currently on the outs in Hollywood after he faced accusations of sex abuse and having a cannibalism fetish. Now his latest sighting comes on the heels of news that American Express is suing him over a nearly $67,000 unpaid balance. An insider informed TMZ that the account, which Hammer has held since 2011, was shared with his estranged wife Elizabeth Chambers. It has been claimed that as a result, the matter of the unpaid balance will be sorted out when the pair finalize their divorce. Although rumors spread over the summer that Hammer was selling timeshares abroad, he has been spotted multiple times in Los Angeles in recent weeks. Hammer appears to have been staying in the Cayman Islands this summer, though there is some confusion as to how he was earning a living. A viral tweet claimed that Hammer was a concierge at a resort, but both the actor's attorney and the hotel's director of sales denied he worked there. However DailyMail.com obtained pictures of him walking around the resort property in an outfit similar to the staffer's uniforms. Reports in Variety and TMZ stated that he was indeed working for the hotel, but as a timeshare salesman rather than a concierge. Hammer's lawsuit comes weeks after he was played by James Austin Johnson in an SNL skit of a game show titled Send Something Normal, with the premise being celebrities choosing how to respond to flirty DMs on Instagram. Vocalist Adam Levine and astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson were also parodied as contestants in the skit, while cast member Bowen Yang played himself. The Hammer character asked for a big welcome back to Hollywood round of applause upon his announcement, adding, Look, I know Terry's been a lot of talk about me in the press, but I've done a lot of work on myself and I've changed. So I have my message, I want to break open your bones and suck out the marrow. Hammer, known for his performances in films such as Call Me By Your Name, The Man From You, NCLE and The Lone Ranger, fell into controversy in early 2021 amid multiple accusations of sex abuse and a stated penchant for cannibalism. He was subsequently dropped from his agency WME and lost a number of roles he had on tap, including the Jennifer Lopez film Shotgun Wedding and the Paramount Plus series The Offer. A rep for Hammer's estranged wife spoke out last month after one of the actor's accusers was critical of Chambers' remarks about being in a really great place with the embattled actor. Chambers, 40, spoke with E! News last month about her relationship with the actor, who she filed for divorce from in July of 2020. Chambers said that Hammer has been focused on his healing and she has been supportive of him. Effie, a woman who accused Hammer of rape, which he denied, took to Instagram stories with screen grabs of messages she said Chambers sent her, allegedly supporting her going public with her allegations against Hammer. A rep for Chambers explained to people the rationale the TV personality, who was mother to daughter Harper, 7, and son Ford, 5 with the actor, had in sending Effie messages. Given the extent and nature of allegations that were made, Elizabeth sought to determine the veracity of those allegations, the rep said. She was very sensitive to all parties involved. The safety and well-being of their children remains her priority. In one of the messages Chambers purportedly sent Effie, she encouraged her to remain focused in getting the stories on record and not just the internet. In another alleged exchange, after Chambers questioned Effie whether she had hired an attorney, Effie responded that she was feeling a tad bit suicidal and didn't have time to chat. Chambers responded to her, 
I really need custody of my precious children, pressing her to file a declaration of her experience with Hammer with the court. Chambers purportedly said, I don't want to pressure you, but her insight is much more in-depth than the others we have, adding that she would keep things under wraps. Effie said in her recent Instagram stories post, just some things to keep in mind before anyone else keeps wishing rapists healing. Effie initially took to the social media site to make the allegations against Hammer over a 2017 incident, and eventually appeared alongside fame lawyer Gloria Allred to state her allegations in a news conference in which she said Hammer mentally, emotionally and sexually abuse her. In the interview with E, Chambers opened up about her co-parenting arrangement with Hammer. We're committed fully and wholly to our children and to being together as much as possible in a non-romantic way for our kids, she said. Kids need their mom, kids need their dad. So Terry's nothing we won't do. She said of Hammer, there's the oxygen mask theory, you can't really take care of someone until you are taken care of. There's a reason on the plane they say, secure your own mask before helping others. He has been very busy securing his own mask. My mask has been secured, the kids' masks are on, so right now it's really been a lot about focusing on them protecting them. Chambers said she was willing to support that process in an effort to help Hammer be the best father and the best person he can be. Chambers added that, time does heal, but time alone doesn't heal, as you need to work through it. She continued, people are flawed. People make horrible mistakes. People change, by the way. For me the whole time it has been about, these are my boundaries. If you can meet them, then we can take the next step. That's with everyone in my life, but also with myself. Chambers told the outlet that she feels herself to be a feminist and remains in solidarity with anyone who has been a victim of any sort and hope they find healing. She noted, I'm not being here, like, my life is amazing, because it's been hell for a long time, 